then why a good person just could be taken so fast. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of a Boston man who the DA says was purposely struck and killed by another driver. Belmont police say that it all started as a road rage incident and then escalated into an alleged hate crime. WBZ's Nick Emmons has the story. It happened here on this neighborhood street yesterday afternoon. Witnesses say they heard the suspect shout a racial slur before running down the victim and taking off. Words can't describe the pain I'm feeling right now. David Tapia is still in a state of shock over what happened to his older brother, Henry, Tuesday afternoon. The last conversation I had was the day, the day he died. He just told me, like, be safe. Investigators say it started with an argument between Tapia and another driver now identified as Dean Capsalis. Both men had gotten out of their vehicles. Then at some point, according to witnesses, Capsalis yelled a racial slur, got in his truck, ran down Tapia, and took off. Brian Daw lives on the street where it happened. And I just heard the uh, commotion, heard my daughter scream, came to the window, and then saw the gentleman on the ground with my daughter and my son-in-law trying to help. We are reminded that incidents like this that are allegedly born of hateful speech have a lasting impact. Middlesex District Attorney Marion Ryan says Capsalis turned himself into police a short time after the incident. He was in court today facing several charges, including a civil rights violation. We cannot and will not tolerate behavior that is rooted in racial bias. For David Tapia, the circumstances surrounding his older brother's death are hard to comprehend. It just makes me angry, to be honest. Like, like why, man? David says his brother leaves behind a girlfriend and three kids, all of them devastated and hoping for justice. Man, I hope you get locked up for a long time, man. And the suspect is being held pending a dangerousness hearing set for Monday. The district attorney says the charges could be upgraded based on the nature of what happened. In Belmont, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News.